uh, around a week and a half ago, Fluffy made a list where he got the knife juggler. He kept double unleash. But I took the next logical step from there and also got the unleash. And I think that was a pretty crucial moment. That has, After that I have really felt like I can play Hunter again. Sometimes, rarely. Most of the time it's just try to climb the ladder. I'm still not legend even this season, so... Okay, choices. I could quick shot. I could kill the tunnel truck right here, right now. Or I can play a King Selak. I think I want to play the King Selak. I'll see what he has. Even if he buffs this up, it's going to deal... A I didn't get to draw my Black Knight. So sad. Even if he buffs it this up, it's going to deal a maximum of 3 damage to my face. And if he coins out Feral Spirits, for example... Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this trade. That was a completely fine trade. Now let's see what animal companion I can find. Anything but Leok is okay. Leok is not okay. Well, I can hope he doesn't have 1 damage. But he should have 1 damage. Flame Tank Totem here, for example. Anything but Leo could have been fine. Please don't hit the 50-50. Yes. Well, I didn't get my 66 percenter, but he didn't get his 50 percenter either, so... That makes it alright. I guess I want to kill the Totem Golem here. Let's let some dogs out. And take out the Golem. Because I saw the thing from below, I know this is not the aggro shaman, this is a more mid-range type of deck. Which means that he might run stuff that buffs gold totems as well, like primal fusion. Or stuff that buffs based on totems. He's very likely to have an answer to kill Leok this turn, flame Tank totem for example. Well, flame Tank totem would be pretty poor actually, because I could just trade, trade in the Houndmaster into it. He's unlikely to have that much spells, so I think he has rock biter. He might not even have a lightning bolt. Because he's a mid-range stick. So a lot of interesting things coming up. He might play the 7-7. Seven, seven. He might not even have the 7-7 seven, seven, though. He might just have stuff like Master of Evolution, Tuscar Totemic. What what is the day of the tree six? I can't remember. He might have just that kind of stuff. 7-7 seven, seven would be perfect for me. I could get a trade and then I would kill that with the deadly shot. I guess that was not about to happen. I probably don't dare to deadly shot. But I can quick shot this one. Trade here. Trade there. That's okay. I'm going to lose something to Totem Golem, but that's alright. Quick shot there. Trade into Totem Golem. Trade into the Spell Damage Totem, and I play the Fiery Bat and Hero Power. And now I have the Black Knight, so if he wants to play a thing from below, and he has played enough totems to play a thing from below. No com Thunderbluff Valiant or Frog with Taunt. You're right. Thunderbluff Valiant is the name. That was that's what I was looking for. That's one of the prime targets for the deadly shot in this deck. There's a thing from below. This is the way I like it. Aha uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. That's the way aha uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. I like it. But ow. And trade there and hit some face. He has a ton of cards. And he's going to run some AoE. So he might have something like a lightning storm. And now that he got the spell damage totem, that's even better for him. Yeah. That's a very good totem to have. That's a very good totem to have. So I think I'll go with the 50-50 here. I'll trade away that fellow. Then I will go with the 50-50. Try to get down the Tuscar Totemic, and I couldn't. And then I tried to draw with the King Selec. 
And I couldn't. No, oh, they're not just hero power. Let's see. Let's see. Now we're living dangerous times. This might be the swing. Oh, blue, this is a great meta. I, I like this. I like this a lot. <coughs> and I have even found a way to make Hunter somewhat viable, so even better. Also, I really like Control Warrior in this meta. No, now I need to draw my Harrison. He's going to get a board clear. He's going to hit here and then trade there. Uh, that's not Harrison, but that's not bad either. Can't go wrong with having all the animal companions. Did you bring some fish? Alright, getting up some protection here. Can I go for lethal somehow? Depends on the animal companion I get. And even if I can't, do I dare to take such a risk? Another Misha. That does not allow me to go for lethal. Even if I, if I deadly shot down one of these. Actually, I have 50% chance for lethal here. Deadly shot down one of these, I can still do 90 phase. I'll take that chance. And I miss. That's too bad. Clear board or hit face. I hit face. He's not going to run any healing in that deck, so I have him on a three turn timer anyway. Three turns. If I can survive three turns. There is a lot of Yeah, that's not going to be enough. Got it. Another shaman. I can't keep these, they are too expensive. Do I keep the bow? Let's try to keep the bow. I don't know, this might be too risky. Maybe I should have a hard mulligan. But the bow just allows me to trade in two of his minions. Probably mid-range shaman, they're running Arch and Squire a lot. So I could play the fiery bat, he's going to kill it. Let's play it anyway. Fifty percent chance that I get get an even trade. Now only thirty-three percent chance. But if I hit the totem golem, oh no, I got the worst thing. That was really bad for me. I think I have to coin out the animal companion here. Yuck. The worst one. No. Never managed to qualify for the European Championship or the World Championship in football. Sorry, we have never made it. I can equip the bow to kill this one now. Then I can play two minions next turn. Yeah, that's good. Bow and kill the totem golem here. Only thing bad is if he has the 7-7, seven, seven, then I'm in a lot of trouble. Don't have the flame breath faceless now, please. Pretty please with sugar on top. I think from below is bad, but it's not disastrous. I can put down two minions on the board anyway. But when I got to draw, I mean, I'm still in this. I don't want to hit anything yet. But let's see. Now if he plays the Doom Hammer, I should be fine. If he plays more minions, there are some risks. More minions is bad for me. Yes, this is bad. He's also going to go face. He isn't going to go face. Okay. That's actually good. 
So I can trade the thing from below from here. Let's try to draw. No draw. Animal companion or carry on grub. I can take five to the face. Try to preserve some board. Now that I got Leok. Yeah, Yari Litman is the best Finnish football player who has ever lived. No, he had the lightning storm. At least I hope he rolls slow on this. No, he rolled high on that. And I guess he also has the hex. But there's nothing else I can do but try. Then yes, I'm going to watch the Euros, obviously. Please don't have a hex. That's not a hex, that's the first piece of good news now. But he's probably just going to be able to rush me down here. Looks really bad. I'm already down to 16. I can't play Call of the Wild yet. Do I die to Bloodlust? No, not right now. Close, but not quite. Need to play more minions. Need to hope he doesn't have Bloodlust. Maybe I can make a comeback. Does have a Bloodlust. And a Rock Biter, and that's lethal. No Primal Fusion, but that's lethal still. So close. It was that close, and I lost every single RNG roll in that game. You can't play Midrange Hunter when everyone's playing Aggro Shaman. You could play it when everyone's playing Midrange Shaman. I just built this deck to beat the Midrange version, but I can't be beat the Aggro. I guess I could keep Harrison. Otherwise try to mulligan for early game minions. Surprising how many aggro shamans there are. So 17 games and 4 against aggro shaman. 1 in 4 decks. 1 in 4 decks that I'm facing is aggro shaman now. And that's terrible for a deck like this. That's absolutely terrible. If midrange shaman doesn't make a comeback this is not viable. I'd have to play warrior. Well, this is a mid-range shaman at least. Let's try to kill it with this one first. 50% chance? No. Then I'll take, take the other 50% chance. And no. So I had a 75% chance to kill the Argent Squire, but couldn't make it. Too bad. Now he plays the Feral Spirits. Did you bring some no, a totemic. Okay, this might turn out okay. Do I go for the animal companion? I guess I could. Let's see what I find. Always huffer. So flame juggler would trade away the totemic. I'll use the huffer to kill the argent squire. Well, any buff kills Huffer. So I could also use Huffer to kill the healing totem. Let's just kill the healing totem. The Huffer at full health. But I have to go for a board control strategy here. Next turn I can play Elec and Quick Shot. I could trade Huffer into Totem Golem, I guess. Let's see if I can roll with the Elec. Can't draw right now. That's too bad. I want to save the Quick Shot, so I also play the Toad. And I trade Huffer into the Totem Golem. He's going to have 3 mana next turn, so not too much mana. He could play Feral Spirits. 
Again, he has only one minion, so not much flame tank value. And now is a good time to play the quick shot. Because I get a 50% chance to... Oh, even better chance to play Stampeding Kodo. This is definitely a board I want to Kodo. I have a 66% chance to kill one of these. If I don't kill one of these, then it's a little bit bad. I can take that chance. Let's kill one of the taunts. Okay, now I have a 50% chance to kill this one with the death rattle. Three fifty percent chances so far to kill the Argent Squire. I have missed every single one. Now I'll just trade into it. It's back down to three mana. That's okay. Now I need to ooh seven high minus on a sweet top deck. But he's going to run a hex, so he might have the tools to deal with it. Let's see if there's a hex incoming. But at 6 mana it's going to take half of his turn to play the Hex. Drawing more cards and a thing from below. No, I sadly do not have the Black Knight. Can't play Call of the Wild yet either. I'm a bit afraid of Lightning Storm, so I think I will use Quick Shot to kill off the thing from below. Then I know I want to kill off the mana tide. Do I also want to kill off the Rat of Air totem? Or hit him in the face, put him to 18. If he doesn't kill any of my minions, I could do 5 plus 4, that's 9 plus 7, I could do 6, I could do 8 next turn. Yeah, I think I will leave the spell damage totem alive and set up for lethal. Let's see what he has here. Now he has one minion alive, but I think I needed to do that to set up for potential lethal. None of this is enough, he needs taunts. Okay, is the rock biter enough? So now I can deal just 7 plus 5, that's 12, 14. Oh, actually I can't hero power. But he's dead to kill command and hero power next turn. So if I deal 12 this turn, that's enough, that's enough. I can ignore what he has on the board. He's not going to run any healing in that deck. He's not going to kill me from 27. He's going to die next turn to hero power and kill command. There is a lot at stake here. No. That doesn't matter. Yeah. Yep. Those were some sweet taunts, but ultimately meaningless. There goes. As I said, mid-range shaman is what I'm targeting with this deck. As long as there's mid-range shaman around, I'm doing fine, but that aggro shaman, that's too fast for this deck. Thank you for watching. For more action, please visit my YouTube channel, and if you like what you see, remember to subscribe.